boys and girls, and welcome to Kids Online here at Grace Point. I hope you've had a wonderful week and you've been keeping warm and safe. If this is your very first time here with us, welcome, welcome. Why don't you drop me a little email at liana at gracepoint.co.za or even ask your parents to connect with us on WhatsApp and tell us who you are and I will give you a call back and we can connect and I can find out more about you. So welcome if this is your very first time. Now I know that those kids who have been listening to us for a long time and um, you know that it's your but it's the birthday corner. And if you had a birthday, I know that you are waiting and you're going, oh, like this because you want to see your name on the birthday board. So let's not wait any longer and let's go and zoom to the birthday board and see if your name's there. birthday darlings i hope you had a fantastic awesome week that you were spoiled rotten and got that special gift that you really really wanted now before we go to kezi there's one thing that we always need to do this time in our lesson that's right we need to honor God with our giving. Now, boys and girls, remember, I tell you every week, you take your pocket money and you decide 10% of that to go to God. And so if you have sorted out your 10%, why don't you pop it into your little money box? And remember what we do when our money boxes are full now, we give it to our parents and we ask them to go and pay the money into Grace Point account. Why do we do that, guys? So that I can go on holiday? No, I don't think so. So that we can help those who are in need. Especially now during the winter, boys and girls, we know that it's cold and some people have no food. Can you imagine going to bed hungry and cold? And so with your lovely donations and your generosity of your parents, we are able to go and give soup and bread to the hungry uh, people that are hungry. And we can even buy blankets to ensure that there's at least some warmth. warmth in people's homes. And then, of course, you are helping us to continue our good work that we do online as well as in the church building itself. Okay, are you guys ready to pray for the offering? Let's go. Close your eyes, hands together. Father God, thank you so much that we have the privilege to be here today, to hear about you and to learn about you so that we can go and tell other people I pray, Father God, that as the money that has been given to Grace Point comes in, that we will use it wisely for those who are in need and to continue the Great Commission here at Grace Point. We thank you for your love and we ask for your blessing and favor on every family we presented. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, boys and girls, let's zoom to Kezi. Speak to you now. And welcome back to another worship with Kizzy. My name is Kizzy, but you can call me Kiz or Kizzy. Whatever you're comfortable with. And what is your name? Well, it's very nice to meet you. And if you are here for the very first time, hi. I'm so excited you guys decided to join us this morning. I hope you have fun. But most importantly, I hope you guys learn something new. And for all of you who have been joining us for the past few weeks. Hi, how are you guys? <laughs> yes, it's me again. <laughs> I hope you guys have fun and that you guys learn something new. So today we have two songs for you guys, as usual. And the first song is called I Am In The Lord's Army. And it's super easy. So we're going to go. I may never march in the infantry, ride in the cavalry, shoot the artillery. I may never zoom over enemies, but I'm in the Lord's army. And those are all the moves. So, are you ready? I'm sorry, I can't hear you. I asked, are you ready? Perfect, let's go. Shoot the 
Funny everybody? Wow! If you had fun with that one, you will for sure have fun with this one. So the second song we're gonna be doing today is called The Salvation Poem. And it's super super easy, so we're gonna go. Jesus, you died upon the cross and rose again to save the lost. Forgive me now of all my sins. Come be my Lord, my Savior, and friend. Change my life and make it new and help me, Lord, to live for you. Can we say it one more time? So we're gonna go. Jesus, you died upon, you died upon the cross and rose again to save the lost. Forgive me now of all my sins. Come be my Lord, my Savior, and friend. Change my life and make it new. And help me, Lord, to live for you. And those are all the words. So, are you ready? Perfect, let's go. with Kizzy. I hope you guys had so much fun because I know I had so much fun with you guys. But before I go, let me tell you all about today's lesson. So today's lesson is all about 
don't explode with anger but do not worry it will all be explained to you so i hope you guys enjoy your day enjoy your lesson but most importantly i hope you guys enjoy your weeks bye good morning boys and girls welcome back to grace point so glad to be with you guys um we're all here together to meet with you um, sorry that you guys are not in the class. Um, hopefully with COVID going over, we'll see you soon in class, face to face. But yeah, we're all back. We're ready for the lesson. Um, Elise again, you all know me. Um, I've got two of our great teachers together here and they will introduce themselves as well. Hi guys, I'm Lolo. Hello kids, I'm Vicky. And as you know, I always get the names wrong. Right. So, today's lesson is all about anger. Guys, anger is a difficult situation. We get angry for nothing and sometimes we get so angry that we don't know what we're doing. So, anger is actually one of the most difficult things um, to, to control, shall I say. Because some people are short-tempered, some people... Um, can take a lot before they get angry. Um, so yeah, it's a difficult situation. So let's see in the Bible what God says about anger. And we're reading this um, out of Ephesians 4, verse 26. In your anger, do not sin. Do not let the sun go down while you are still angry. So that's very, very important, boys and girls. Don't go angry or don't go and sleep until while you're angry. So I think the main lesson here is you need to, even though you're angry, don't go and sleep angry. So Vicky Lolos, how many times do you go and sleep angry? Sure. I think for my side, I think sometimes I go to sleep with angry, but in the morning I will be fine. You'll be fine? Yeah, sometimes, you know, it's, it depends on, uh, on the situation. Sometimes you want to forgive, but sometimes you are very angry. Then when you remember this verse, because it comes, you know, at the back of your say that, should I sleep with this anger? Then you say, okay, I will forgive. Then you calm down yourself and then you sleep. That's very true. It's very easy to say, don't get angry. But I think even... In, in your class situation, sometimes your teacher or your friend, or even I get a lot of time, I think you get angry with your parents because you want to watch TV or do PlayStation and then mom says, oh, go and bath or clean your bedroom and you just want to quickly watch this movie finish. So we're going to do a little bit of experiment. There's a can for you. There's a can for you. Thank you. We're not going to drink it. So, oh. well... We are talking about anger. I want you to shake the can. Oh, to shake it. Shake it, guys. Shake it, shake it. Hello. So, when you get angry, I think, I always think of, of situations. If you get angry with somebody, I always say count to 10. Calm down and count to 10. Because what happens if you're angry? You don't think. So, you can, you can say a bad word, like swear at the person, or you can hurt the person, or... You can uh, uh, be nasty or, 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 or be horrible. No, shake, guys. Shake, shake, shake. I want to show you something. So what happens if we, 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 we do wrong things while we're angry? We're actually not listening to what God says. Because God's not angry. God doesn't like to be angry. He, he wants us to be kind to each other. So even if somebody makes you angry, what's going to happen if I open this can? Uh -oh. Can I open it? No. Can no, I open no, it? No, Why? Gonna... What's going to happen? <laughs> it's going to spread all over me now. See? So my anger is going to go all over oh, no, me. Oh, no. So, let's put the cans down. Okay? So now I'm angry because somebody took my pencil or I'm very angry. So just like the cans, we're going to leave them. I always say, count to ten. Say a prayer. Say, God. Please calm me down. Give me the right words to tell this person why I'm angry. Because sometimes when we're angry, it's hard to express why we're angry. So we pray. We say, God, please help me not to be so angry. This person, 
might not know that what he did makes me angry. Or when we're driving and the taxi goes in front of you, you hear your mom goes and you say, Mom, calm down, remember, God loves the taxi just like he loves us, so we can calm down. And then once we are nice and calm, can I open this can? Yes. You think so? I... <laughs> but... <laughs> No, still not. So how am I going to get rid of my anger? So I've prayed now, and I've calmed myself down. What else can we do to calm down? What do you think? Uh, maybe you drink water, I don't know. Drink water? I think sometimes it helps to walk out of the situation. Sometimes you, you're angry at somebody and then you, you need to calm down and maybe walk away and come back later. That could work, guys, yeah, do you maybe. think? Yeah, that could work. Because then you sort of breathe, and I like breathe. So, let's see if I can open this can. And we calm down. Mm. No. And nothing's spilled over. No. And I can now calmly carry on with my day. I can go and go and sleep. The other thing about anger, I think what we must remember, boys and girls, is forgiveness. If you're angry at somebody because they did something wrong, I think we need to also ask forgiveness and say, sorry, Vicky, I didn't mean to take your pencil. I, I don't have such a nice pencil as yours, but here's it back. I'm sorry. And then also, that also makes the anger go a little bit away. But if you are angry and like, why did you take my pencil? Then you might say the wrong thing. Whereas once you calm, just like this, we can do a good job yes and then we don't say the wrong thing and we don't be angry with each other so we still stay friends and we're all good and i'm going to take a sip <laughs> <laughs> so there you go boys and girls so don't go and sleep angry sort it out forgive each other count to 10 and god always says don't go and sleep angry sort it out thanks guys bye